Welcome back to my channel everyone, Three Tips here. What I've got here is about 85 grams of pure gold that's had silver alloyed with it. And then we uh, used hot dilute nitric acid to pull all the silver back out. And this is what we end up with. This is nearly pure gold here. So I'm gonna add everything into one beaker now. These are granules of 24K gold that are very close to 39's fine. But what we're going to do in this video is we're going to refine this gold now to very high purity. Right, I'm going to set this up on the heat now. I've got some hydrochloric acid. And what we're going to do is add some hydrochloric acid now, about 500 milliliters to our gold in this beaker. I'm going to cover this up, add a little bit of heat now. Let's go ahead and drop in a stir bar and let's get this stirring. And while we're waiting for that, what I'm going to do over here is measure out 100 milliliters of nitric acid. To get this started, I'm going to add about 20 milliliters of the nitric acid in here to form a little bit of aqua regia. Now what we'll do is I've got my nitric addition apparatus here. I'm going to add the rest of the nitric to this addition funnel. Make sure the valve is off and just pour the nitric acid right on in. Now I'm going to slip the nitric addition funnel into the fume hood carefully. I'm going to turn the acid drip on and drip nitric acid into the reaction slowly so we can dissolve this gold at a nice steady pace. That took about a half hour. I'm going to pull it down off the heat now. Let it cool off. Now we're going to add some ice. This will help cool it off. And it will help precipitate out any silver chloride that may be present in our gold solution. You see the solution's cloudy. That means we do have some contamination in there. That's why we're doing this refining to get that cloudiness out of there. Probably silver chloride. Let's get set up with a filter flask. Filter our solution now. Here's all the junk that we filtered out. And uh, what we're going to do, if you look down here in the flask, it's a little bit cloudy. So what I'm going to do is put the filter or the funnel right back on another flask. 
we're going to pour the solution back through the same filter a second time. And what this will do is now that the filter is loaded up with all that junk in there, we'll be able to uh, filter some more of this cloudiness out of here, hopefully. Well, let's get set up to do a precipitation. I'm not taking any chances. This is almost five ounces of gold. And I've got uh, some excess nitric in here, I think. So what we're going to do is make sure cool this down real good with some ice. And then uh, transfer our solution into this beaker with the ice in it. You can see, second pass through the filter, clean it up fairly nice. Anytime I have two or more ounces that I'm precipitating, I always add ice to the solution, keep it cool. Now we're going to add some stump out and precipitate out the pure gold from this solution. Here we go. we go. I'm going to add another spoon, second spoon going in right now. And number three, third spoon. Four. Five and less one more. And now we're gonna stir it up a little bit. See what we got. You can see there's a little bit of yellow color still in the liquid, so that means we got gold in solution still. I'm going to add a couple more spoons of stump out. I think we've got everything precipitated. Get a little bit of our solution on a piece of filter paper. Put some status on here. And you can tell by that negative reaction that every single bit of the gold has now been precipitated. This is already starting to settle out. If you look down on the bottom of the beaker, you can see the gold powder kind of sloshing around down on the bottom down there. Right down here is our gold powder. Pure gold powder. Here is our pure gold powder. There's quite a lot of it down there. What we're going to do now is pour off this waste solution into this beaker. A little of the gold will have a tendency to get poured off with this waste solution 
and that's quite all right because we'll recover any gold down to the bottom of that beaker or this flask here now what I'm going to do is rinse the gold off with a little bit of hydrochloric acid and we'll pour that rinse right off into this temporary waste container Rinse it with a little bit of water here. I've got this smaller beaker. I'm gonna put a stir bar in here. Now what I'll do is I'll transfer the gold down into this smaller beaker carefully all right I'm gonna turn on the stir bar back here and add some heat to our hot plate I'm gonna pour this water off right quick into the uh, waste container and then what we're going to do is we're going to boil this gold now in a little bit of hydrochloric acid up on our hot plate This has been on boiling for about 10 minutes. I'm going to take it down off the heat now. Let it cool off for a second. Okay, the question is, will boiling hydrochloric acid put gold in solution? Get a little bit on this uh, piece of filter paper, test it with some stannis. And the answer is yes quite a bit actually now what we want to do is pour off this hydrochloric acid solution it's gonna have some gold in it that's okay we're pouring it into our waste container right here and uh, this might produce a neat reaction in the bottom of our waste container so there's quite a bit of gold there Let's see what happens when I pour this in with some water now I don't think I've ever seen that much gold go into solution with a hydrochloric acid boil just keep rinsing it till I get all the uh, dissolved gold rinsed off of our powder some hydrochloric acid let's put it back on the heat and start stirring this and for the second refining we're not going to use nitric acid we're going to use some 12% hydrogen peroxide
All right, I've never tried to dissolve this much gold with hydrogen peroxide, so we're just going to dribble some in and see how this works. I've got just a few granules of gold left down in the bottom of this container and uh, I could go after it and get the rest of that but I'm not gonna what we're gonna do is remove our delivery apparatus here from the fume hood now we're gonna shut the heat off I'm gonna take this down off of the uh, hot plate here and we're going to set it down here and let it cool off and we're going to go from here this is my waste container and I just wanted to show you how much gold is uh, down in the bottom of this thing it's quite a bit and what we'll do is I'll make a separate video and we'll get all that out of there uh, in a separate video back here had a little bit of uh, gold stuck to the bottom of that beaker, so I put a little aqua regia in there and boiling that out to dissolve it. And I'll add this to this container. But here, here's our special feature right here. This is our chloral auric acid solution. It is absolutely stunning, crystal clear, bright orange, about four and a half troy ounces of pure gold dissolved with hydrochloric acid and hydrogen peroxide okay we're gonna ice this down and dilute the solution for the next step in the process I'm adding some ice cool it down and dilute it down all right here we go we're gonna filter our solution Got a, just a touch of cloudiness, so uh, we can get that out of there by uh, pouring it through one of these uh, filters. Here you're able to see the uh, few little pieces of gold that were left in the bottom of the beaker, undissolved. And what we'll do is we'll get that out of there and add that to the uh, waste container and recover it later. Now that is a crystal clear solution with no traces of cloudiness. It's gonna be some high purity gold right there. All right, let's just go ahead and take care of this little bit of gold in this beaker right now. I'm just gonna add it right into my temporary waste container. Here's our foam. And if you look at this thing, it's absolutely clean. This solution is crystal clear, colorless. I mean, you can read a newspaper through it. We transfer it into this beaker here. going to move our gold out of the way now and we're going to get set up for our next evolution.
Here we've got, I've got my SO2 gas generator set up. I've got some SMB in here as a slurry. Sulfuric acid up here in the addition funnel. I've got a line that comes out and goes back to a uh, flask that has some sulfuric acid in it to cool and clean the SO2 gas that comes out of the gas generator. The clean gas will bubble through this tube and we're gonna pass it into our gold solution here and precipitate out the pure gold with SO2 gas. There we go, I'm gonna turn some sulfuric acid on here and start a slow drip. There we go. Slow this down a little bit. I'm starting to see some metallic gold floating on top of our solution here. This is a new gas generator bottle. I broke the arm off the old one, so I had to use this setup. That's not enough chemical for the amount of gold I need to precipitate. There's an outlet valve there that creates a restriction in the gas flow, which is gonna create a problem. And I've got a whole bunch of gold in solution here. All these things are gonna add up to uh, create a problem with this process, as you'll see here as we progress. I'm gonna add about uh, half a liter of distilled water. This reaction happens better when the solution is dilute. I had the uh, end of the pipe leaning on the bottom of the beaker. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I've got some gold building up on the uh, delivery tube there, right here. So we may have to uh, get in there with something and unclog that if it gets worse. Okay, we're about five minutes into the reaction here. And I may have this solution still too concentrated, so I'm adding some distilled water. Get the tube off the bottom of the container. Yeah, it's got a plug of gold in it, of course. Plugged up with gold. There we go. I got it loose. All right, I turned up the acid flow and uh, finally got a decent flow of gas going into our solution. But I don't think I added enough SMB to the gas generator. I think I'm going to have to take it apart and add some more SMB. Here you can see the delivery tube is coated with gold. The end is plugged up, so I'm going to have to uh, increase the flow out of the gas generator by adding some more SMB. dilute it a little bit more with some distilled water I'm 
I had to add some water. I forgot to add water to make a slurry. And now we've got a decent flow of gas. And I think we're going to be okay now. It was plugging up the tube. Tube's right there. And I had to clean that out two or three times. This has been a little bit of a difficult one. Look at that. We've got a sheet of gold forming on the surface. Pretty neat looking. Playing with it now for about an hour. And uh, trying to precipitate this much gold with SO2 gas is not very fun. I'm going to tell you right now. Since it's just me, what I'm having to do, reach in here, dump some more SMB into the reactor here. And then uh, put the funnel back on right quick. I'm near the end here. I'm going to get a little bit of the solution on some filter paper. Do a Stannis test. Hallelujah. I think we're done, man. All the gold has been precipitated now. Then get our delivery tube out of here. It's heavy. It's encrusted with gold. You see that? Let's see here. Gonna set this off to the side now and let our gold settle. There's the delivery tube, it's coated with gold. Have to clean that out. I've allowed this to settle overnight, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get in here and get our pure gold see it down on the bottom down there I'm gonna pour this waste solution off into a uh, container here that I have set aside for waste solutions for my gold refining it's gonna pour this off now a little bit of the gold's gonna go with it but that's okay Here's a look at the pure gold sponge down in the bottom of our beaker. I'm going to rinse the gold off the edges of the beaker with some distilled water. I'm going to transfer the gold to a smaller beaker so that it's easier to handle.
Let's transfer the gold to this melt dish here, carefully. Let's transfer the gold over here to the melt table. Here's a look at the pure gold bar. I am just in awe every time I see one of these things. Gold is just, there's nothing like it. Nothing like it. Let's see what we got for a weight here. I was expecting about 149 grams and we got 147.4. That's 4.7 troy ounces of pure gold. All right, this will conclude the Thanksgiving Day gold refining video brought to you by Sri Tips. Thanks for watching.